Hi, I'm Sonia and Jewel to Reapers. This is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try and force a kind of fit. It might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's the universal crown. So you take a resonate to lose this to someone else and know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. So I've been away for a while, rest and recovery and busy stuff. But really good to be back and hopefully you're doing very well. Let's see what we have for you. This is a collective reading for Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn. Okay, oh, it looks like we have happily ever after. This is all your cups fulfilled. This is all your dreams coming true. Family, home, children, what it is, whatever it is that you want. That is such a beautiful start. We also have, but you've been waiting a little while, but it looks like things are coming in for you here. But you've been so patient and now things are starting to happen for you. But because you've put the work in, this is actually like you planted the seeds and stuff is starting to blossom here. So the influence here is the Wheel of Fortune. So it could be a new cycle that's beginning and some sort of new things coming in for you. Oh, it looks like it's a soulmate. You're calling in your soulmate here. This is two cards of a soulmate. Someone who could be returning. Or it could be a past soulmate connection. Past life, healing, beautiful relationship, some sort of beautiful connection here. And it's a new cycle. But the distant past, you've had some sort of trickery. This is the liar cheater stealer. Someone was sneaking around, stealing all the swords. Some sort of sneakiness. So the world. So you actually have like a new cycle here that started... And it's actually that you have tried to move forward from this trickery and thievery and started a new cycle. Also focusing on your work, you're actually doing really good in your job. Things are starting to happen for you. And it's also that you are working very hard and actually being noticed for what you do. Recent past, we have a water sign energy here. This is Pisces has a Scorpio. Masculine energy is somebody here who is emotionally stable. They could be feeling a little bit emotional, but they want to take a leap of faith towards you. They are looking and maybe they have taken a leap of faith towards you. Or someone is wanting to, masculine energy. But we also have a feminine energy. Someone who is very financially stable. This could be a boss energy. Someone that is a business owner. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, feminine energy. Someone who is nurturing. Very good with their money. So this is your thoughts. You're thinking about some sort of celebrations. Maybe letting your hair down with the girls. It could be the, or the boys, you know. And this could be some sort of celebrations and happily ever after. You're thinking about... You could be worried that there could be a third party situation. A lot of gossip or something. But this is also this beautiful card here again. This is like happily ever after. All your wishes coming true. And also juggling. So you're working very hard. Trying to get the balls in the air, doing so many things to a pentacles. So your the future is divine masculine. This is Aries energy, someone who could be very financially stable. They would like stability with you. Somebody here who's divine masculine. So this is Aries energy. Somebody who likes stability, but they could be a little bit controlling of their emotions, a little bit stubborn maybe. The, this is also wish fulfillment, so your wishes are all coming true here, happily ever after, and actually getting, be careful what you're wishing for, because it looks like you're getting it. Financially stable. We have this masculine energy as well, so this could be the divine counterpart match to this person here. This is somebody who could be a business owner, so we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, so this could be a divine masculine, this could be the same person here. Or it could be two different options. You could have wish fulfillment, so be careful what you're wishing about. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. That could be you. Because you could be a female and a male and embody in either of those energies. So your fears is that you've got so many options that you don't know what to choose. This is illusions, romantic illusions. Looking at all your options and you don't know what to choose. So it's like you've got so many options, you need to make some decisions. So this is your fears. So you're fearing there's so many options. Maybe this is that you're healing. Someone's feeling, fearing that you're healing. Or, and that you're also getting wish fulfillment. And actually that you have a masculine energy here. 
that is very good looking. Someone has a lot of passion. They could be somebody who's so charming and good looking. They are somebody who's interested, possibly. Maybe you're fearing someone that is a fire sign. And they have so much passion towards you. They find you so irresistible. You're fearing that you've got too many options you don't know what to choose. So this is how others see you. Rushing forward. You're moving you forward into this new beginning. You are just going for it. You're not looking back. You're ready for a new beginning here. You are going for gold. And you're actually rushing towards a passionate new beginning. And you're quite excited. But there's someone, some people here who feel left out, abandoned. This is actually somebody left in the cold. So this is your hopes. You're hoping that you can have some sort of options in love. Maybe it's that you've got a love-hate situation and actually that you would like to have options. Because also we have new love. This is actually lovers and it's a cup of love. So you're filling up your own cup, loving yourself and you're hoping for new love to come towards you. You're also ready to move forward. This is Cancer energy and also Gemini energy. So the outcome here is... Page of Swords, somebody's watching. Someone's ready to come in and speak some truth. They could be just watching, stalking, watching you from your um, social media. They have a lot of anxiety and sleep this night. Somebody can't sleep here. They're watching everything you're doing. They have obsessive thoughts about you as well. It looks like they could have addictions. They could be addicted to you even. Addicted to watching you. And this is a painful ending. Some sort of stab in the back. You have been betrayed by somebody here. And they're obsessed now. So this is a painful ending. You can't come back from this ending. And also this thing where you've got so many options. You need to make some decisions. Looks like you had a tricky outcome here. You didn't wake up and smell the roses. Because what is it you really want? All those options here. You're stuck at a crossroads. You don't want to pass go or click $200. Someone wants to stay stuck. What is this about? Somebody is stuck in a situation. Someone is not making the decision to move forward. What is this about? This ending. What is this about? Please. New love. And wish fulfillment. So there's a soulmate for sure. This is a soulmate. We had this in the beginning. This is like your two of cups. Soulmate returning. We also have new love. So this is new love here that you're getting. But someone is staying stuck and they're obsessed with you. So this is new love coming in. And it's also wish of film. And they could be an Aquarius. This could be that somebody is coming in to offer their cup of love to you. And they are a past life connection. And also that you've done so much healing that now you're getting wish fulfillment. So very cool. Very happy for the outcome after all those swords. So make some decisions. What do you really want? Bye.